right, guys. I can't stress this enough. How excited I am. I got my mic working again. Thank God. Thank God I don't have to hold that fluffy little bastard of a microphone anymore. Oh my God. Okay. Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about a album and a band that I didn't know I needed until I listened to it. I've never heard of this band until literally just a few days ago and I love them so much. And that of course is the album Odd World by the band Ocean Grove. This album just came out a few days ago, November 22nd, and I I love this freaking album. This is everything that I like in music wrapped up in a tight little package, put in a little bow and said, here, Kirby, take this. You're welcome. I love you. And I love it. It is so heavy, so bouncy. Everything about this album makes me want to jump up and down and repeat the lyrics. Now, I don't know too much about Ocean Grove. I know they've had a few albums before this. Some people were saying they're going back to their roots with this album, but I did listen to a couple other songs after listening to this album and it sounded kind of pop punky in a way. It didn't really sound anything like this album before. So if I'm missing something there, let me know, put it down in the comments below. Tell me what songs I should listen to by this band. And I mean every, I mean everything I say when I say this is a perfect album. I loved every single song in this record Everything about this record just made me smile from beginning to end. I mean, it starts off with a very basic intro. It's not basic though. It's just kind of like in your face. It's OG forever, Ocean Grove forever. And it's just repeating itself. Even that is powerful, but it goes straight into such an amazing song. Cell Division is probably one of my favorite tracks. I'll go over my favorite song in this album here in a few, but Every song on this album really flows. It all blends together coherently. The production on this album is absolutely amazing. I feel so much nostalgia with this album, it being going back to new metal. This feels like a blend of Limp Biscuit and Il Nino. If you all haven't heard of Il Nino, look them up, they're awesome. But this album feels like the perfect blend of Limp Biscuit and Il Nino, and I love that about this album. The production of this album felt very fresh, but the feel of the album felt like it was going back to the late 90s, early 2000s, which I think is awesome. When you listen to this album, you'll understand what I mean, but when you put in a good pair of headphones or put Blair in your speakers of your car, your mind is gonna explode with how well the production of this album is. The guitars are very prominent. The bass is so punchy and thick that it just, makes your heart want to explode. The lyrics are very powerful. Some of the lyrics are a little bit more quieter, so it gives me kind of like a Deftones vibe where like the lyrics aren't really like the, as punchy as the rest of the instruments, but it blends well, if you know what I mean. Like it's not exactly too quiet, but it's right at that sweet spot where it's kind of haunting. The synthesizers that they're using in this feels very haunting as well. Uh, a lot of new metal albums have this weird, eerie, haunting tone when it comes to the synthesizers and stuff. Uh, m the best example I can give is like the uh, soundtrack to Queen of the Damned. Listen to that soundtrack and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It is just like a haunting, powerful feeling is what I get from it. It's a very eerie feeling, haunting, and I loved everything about it. My favorite songs on this album would have to be Stunner. And So What 1999. So What 1999 is an absolute banger. I mean, the chorus, the guitars and everything are so punchy and powerful. And then during the verse, it's just this weird nostalgic throwback to this weird funky bass where you're just bobbing your head. Like I can imagine sitting in your friend's room after skateboarding, drinking a bunch of pop and eating potato chips and playing video games. That's exactly what this verse feels like to me. The lyrics, lyrically, it's has nothing to do with that but when you hear like that hip-hop beat with the bass that's exactly how i feel those two songs are absolutely the best tracks on the album i feel cell division is also fantastic every single song oh my god i keep repeating myself every single song on this album is amazing you need to check this out like asap and to be honest with you i'm kind of ashamed of myself for not knowing who this band is i might have heard like a few songs here and there without even realizing it but this is the first time I've actually like 
willingly pulled up their album and checked it out. And I am so impressed with this. If this, if their past albums are just as good as this, I don't care if it's a different feel or genre, like the couple songs I heard are a little bit pop punky. If it still has that power and emotion that I feel within these, these songs here in this album, I'm definitely gonna have Ocean Grove as some one of my favorite bands. This album is fantastic. It's definitely up there as one of my favorite albums of 2024. I don't know if it tops my top album. I'm definitely gonna do a video about that here in the future. But this album is a must listen. It is an A+. Plus. It's perfect. Let me know what you guys think of Odd World by Ocean Grove. Let me know down in the comments if you liked it, if it was for you, not for you. Let me know what your all's favorite song by the band is. That way I can check it out myself. And please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I deeply appreciate the uh, support that I'm getting doing this switch. I know back in... Back before I was doing video games, but I'm having a lot of fun talking about music that I enjoy. Um, it's just, it's a really fun change. I feel like I have a lot more to say, even though I do repeat myself, uh, beating myself with a dead, is that the, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. I, I love talking about the music that I've been listening to. Uh, even if some of them aren't exactly the best songs that I've listened to, like the new Three Days Grace song, I still, I feel like I want to share my voice. I feel like given me as someone who has listened to music my whole life, obviously most people do, but also as a musician myself, I like writing. So I like listening to the, what goes into these songs, try to pick out exactly what they were trying to do. I, I just really like that. And I really like what I'm doing. So if you, you know, if you were with me before in the video games, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. But if you could tag along and listen to me talk about the love of music, I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you're new here, thank you so much as well. We have a lot of, I have a lot of fun things I plan to do. I'm going to be doing full reviews of every Linkin Park album, considering that's my favorite band. I'm going to be doing tier lists and rankings as well. And then after I do that, I'm going to be switching to other bands that I love listening to as well. We're going to be reviewing new albums, new singles that have released, and it's going to be a fun time. So please tag along, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, take it easy, bubs.